Hear, O Israel, the statutes and ordinances that I am addressing to you today. You shall learn them and observe them diligently. The Lord our God made a covenant with us at Horeb. Not with our ancestors did the Lord make this covenant, but with us, who are all of us here, alive, today. So now, O Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you? Only to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, to love him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and to keep the commandments of the Lord your God and his decrees that I am commanding you today for your own well-being. Then Moses and the elders of Israel charged all the people as follows. Keep the entire commandment that I am commanding you today. On the day that you cross over the Jordan into the land that the Lord your God is giving you, you shall set up large stones and cover them with plaster. And you shall write on them all the words of this law when you have crossed over to enter the land that the Lord your God is giving you a land flowing with milk and honey, as the Lord, the God of your ancestors, promised you. So, when you have crossed over the Jordan, you shall set up these stones, about which I am commanding you today, on Mount Ebal, and you shall cover them with plaster. And you shall build an altar there to the Lord your God, an altar made of stones on which you have not used an iron tool. You must build an altar to the Lord your God out of unhewn stones. Then offer up burnt offerings on it to the Lord your God. Make sacrifices of well-being and eat them there, rejoicing before the Lord your God. You shall write on the stones all the words of this law very clearly. Then Moses and the Levitical priests spoke to all Israel, saying, Keep silence and hear, O Israel. This very day, you, you have become the people of the Lord your God. Therefore, Obey the Lord your God, observing his commandments and his statutes that I am commanding you today.